Welcome back in, everybody. Contrary to what Kelly thinks, uh, summer is actually in full swing. It's, it's halfway over. It's not almost over. It's in full swing, right in the middle. So it's time to take advantage of all the fresh vegetables in your garden at farmer's markets or your favorite grocery store. Susan Ritz, creator of Putting on the Ritz, is here with some great summer dishes from her cookbook called Four Seasons of Food and Fun. Yes. It's still in production. Still in production. It will be available very soon. Very soon, yes. That's and exciting. That's exciting. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, welcome. You've got the table here. This is what I think of when I think of summer. I think that's why I love this season so much because the food is just incredible. It's incredible and it's beautiful. It's yeah. really. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. I, I notice all the colors. Yes. Mm -hmm. the really colors pretty. are amazing. And gazpacho, which we have here, is one of my favorite summer salads. It's so hot out. So it's such a refreshing thing to eat and it's so easy to make. So and you, you want it to eat the kitchen up. You call it a summer salad, but it looks like soup. soup. Yeah, it's a soup. So it's a cold soup. Yes. It's okay, a cold soup. so we're going to make this, right? Yes, we are. Okay. And so um, what we have here is just a bunch of chopped tomatoes. Now, I used a combination of romas. You can use any kind of tomato you want. Uh, romas and just um, the tomatoes on the vine. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Heirlooms, I can't find anywhere. They're great if you can get those. Uh, Pretty but, soon you'll be able to. But these were yeah. great. So what I'm going to have you, and then here we have peppers, cucumbers, onion. Um, so all of these fun veggies all together are, are what we're going to just whip up. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter the tomato, but white onion only? No. Okay, you can no. do any onion as you well. You can do any onion you want. I mean, basically, you can just kind of choose what you want to throw in there. The There's flavors no, you like. Right. This okay. is like salsa. Salsa, but all, um, you know. Blended. Blended together. Okay. And right. so we're going to, and you can top it in fun ways. I have some avocado and some basil and all that. Okay, should I just so throw, throw it in? Are you just going to do like a big dump? Or you know, like. Uh, not the whole thing, but yeah, just put a bunch <laughs> in there and then put that some is, of those that, in there that too. That didn't come out right. Did nope, it? sure. <laughs> I was going to let that one slide. <laughs> But you didn't. So. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I addressed it. You called yourself that's out. All right. All right. Yep. People were at home were thinking it. That's all right. Is that enough? Yep, and then okay. add some of that. Great. Hey, and then now, what I do, because uh, olive oil is something that you kind of need in here too. Now, I use um, my CGD seasoned olive oil. Your stuff is so that's good. good. That's good. Oh, um, sorry. Okay. Oh, no, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, but if you don't want to use that, just use some extra virgin olive oil mm. and a couple of tablespoons of sherry that vinegar. That smells yeah. yeah, it so already smells sorry. good. And we that haven't even put the so olive oil good. in yet. Right, I know. Okay. So we're going to do that. And um, now I'm going to have you just pour a little bit in there as we're, okay. as we're doing this. Okay. Just a little drizzle. Yep. No more. So what are you looking for when she's pouring that in there? Like the consistency? On the recipe, I have the amount you should do. And so you'll just see it. I just like, I, I know. She can what, eyeball it. Yeah. She can eyeball it. Okay. Yeah, so you do that. And you just, now me, I like it to be a little bit chunky. Not like okay. really chunky, but I do, do like a little bit in there. So, and then you just keep adding it and throw it in a bowl as you kind of mix it all up and then put it all back together again. And now we topped this with a little bit of basil. Mm. I have avocado there. If you want to top it with that, toppings are fun. Mm. Mm. And that's really it. That's wow. it. Wow, that's, yeah, that's I, it I guess I didn't realize how simple that it's was. so easy. I've never had mm. gazpacho. Mm. This is amazing. Mm. Now, I also had salt Whoa. and pepper in this sort of thing, but isn't that yummy? That's so good. What would you serve this with? I mean, like, I just do it with, again, a salad. Now, I also do some croutons if you want to mm -hmm. top it with that, just like a regular oh soup. Gosh, that's so but I yummy. always do some bread with it because that's a great little thing to also mm. dip into the soup, too. And this mm. bread is um, grilled, and you can Yum. do this a couple ways. Summer's great, so you, if you're out grilling anyway, throw your bread out. Now, what I did is brush this with um, the CGD. You could use regular olive oil, and then you just want the grill marks on it. You could also use a cast iron pan in your kitchen. Oh, it oh, doesn't yeah. matter. Mm -hmm. So, and then this salad is, again, fresh veggies. Um, cucumbers, tomato, onion, and a little feta on top. A little yeah. feta. The, the salty feta always kind of gets me. It's like the perfect I love the compliment feta. to all these mm -hmm. summer salads. See, and I would think like mozzarella. I'm trying to do this pretty, Susan. I don't know. Oh, just get after it, will Yeah, you? get after it. You're I fine. am the worst eater on television. This is what my job, <laughs> I eat all the time on the show, and I'm terrible at it. Yeah. Well, and it's here's just yummy. a little tip, too. The, these, remember we mentioned this last time, mm -hmm. mandolin? It's so easy to do thinly sliced um, onion and cucumber. You can't really do it with tomatoes, but the other two, it's quick work. Boom, 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 you're done. Are you thinking you would, this could be a dinner? Or yeah. would you add a piece of like, like a chicken? You could add chicken, you could add some shrimp, um, or, you know, depending on your audience, if they want a little bit of meat. Otherwise, you know, this is good enough. It's very filling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is very filling. And then this, I, you know, it's fun summer cocktail. She it's just a white wine, wine spritzer. Mm. Sauvignon you Blanc. White wine okay, so you're gonna have to, 
remind me again, educate me what, what makes mm -hmm. it a spritzer. You just add um, That's some really seltzer. That's Do very some good. seltzer, like yeah. soda water or mm -hmm. seltzer? seltzer? Is that the same thing? It's, yeah. It's is seltzer and soda seltzer, water the same thing? You're gonna like, this tonic's is, different. But yes. Tonic is different, yeah. yes. This is very, everything just about a little this refreshing. Is, is light and refreshing mm -hmm. because when it's hot out, you don't want to eat a really heavy meal. Right. And this is not that. Ooh, mm -hmm. yummy. This is so yeah. good. So when you make the gazpacho, I'm guessing you put it in the fridge for a yes. while. Yes, and if it comes out kind of thick, I, a lot of people, I do this too, add an ice cube or two, just leave oh. it in there, put it in the fridge, let it melt in there, and, and you're fine. It just thins it out a little bit and keeps it really cold. How, how early can you make this? If you're entertaining, this whole thing can be made a day or two ahead of time. Oh, I like, I'm going to yeah. make that. That is yeah, very isn't that good. good? Yeah. The only thing you really need to do to, uh, at the last minute is put together your salad mm -hmm. and then grill the bread. So right, this is beautiful. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank beautiful, you, bright, it. colorful. We'll get in there. Yummy. The bread. I just can't eat on camera. I always I understand. <laughs> <laughs> commercial break. We're going to tackle yeah. this. All right. Okay. Thank you, Susan. Susan. Thanks, Susan. As a giveaway, you have a chance to win CGD seasoned olive oil along with one of her cookbooks. Here's how to enter. Make sure you are following Susan at Putting on the Ritz. Like this post and comment with your favorite emoji, maybe the heart eyes emoji. We posted that on TwinCitiesLive.com. Mm, or, or the little mouth drool. <laughs> the drooling. I, I, I like the drooling mouth one, <laughs> you know, for such all the yummy stuff. That's right. And up next, we're heading to the TCL patio to show you the secrets of making the perfect cheeseburger. 12 days of grilling rolls on. Mm, yummy.